Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Another Tech Preacher podcast, y'all. You know what? I got an interesting one for y'all guys today, right? Today, we're going to talk about mid-ranges, right? Mid-range smartphones. Because, listen, we got a lot of the devices that, that comes out every year. And we got four categories. And the mid-range category is a very strange one. This is a very strange category. And the reason why is because... As I review mid-range devices and as other people review mid-range devices, it becomes confusing, right? And let's talk about it for a second. And look, I think mid-range is a, is a category that's hard to recommend, right? First, we have uh, the, the budget devices, you know, as far as cost factor, you have those devices between the mid-150 to 250 a uh, hundred dollar device. We know what the, what those devices is. It's a, it's a mid range. I mean, it's a budget device, low end device. You get what you pay for, right? It's a very cheap device. You need something right now. Those are the devices that you usually picks up, right? But when it comes down to the mid range, we got issues because we already know the third category is the flagship and the folk category is the premium flagship, the ultra flagship, the one that like the foldables and the one that costs almost $2,000. It's cost factors involved with these categories, right? Mid-range devices comes in a very bad place, right? Think about this. Samsung just released the A54, right? The new devices, right? The A lineup but that is in a very peculiar place because even though it may be a decent device, the problem comes in is the cost factor. All right. So think about this. Listen, a lot of people are like, well, you know, it's the latest and greatest, but listen, even though it's the latest and greatest don't mean it's good. Think about this, right? You, we already know the, the low end budget devices, right? We know those devices, the 150 to 250, which we already know that you're going to get low end processors, not great cameras, decent battery life. You know, you're just going to get what you pay for. The mid range give you the mid range processor, you know, decent cameras, not the best cameras, you know, and you're going to get a 450 to close to $500 price points. So you're looking at, you know, between $399 to $500 price points for mid rangers, right? And then you got the flagships, right? The flagships going to be, you know, the 900 and the, you know, $1,400 price point for the flagships and then ultra flagships. You got, you know, the $2,000 phones, but here's the problem in the mid range market, right? The price and what you're getting for the price. You think about this, the A54, the A series device is coming in at $450 after tax. You, you, you're talking about almost $500. Well, $500 for the mid-range device with a mid-range processor with six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, then you run into some issues, right? You run into some bad issues. Here's the issues that you run into. When you look at that, the previous year flagship, right? The previous year flagship have dipped down in price by half, almost 50%. Right. And then if you look at it even more, the year before last flagship is even cheaper than this year. Now, a lot of y'all guys, well, why, why would I buy a one year old phone or two year? Because those phones flagships are better than the current mid range. But that's why when it comes down to this, say uh, the Galaxy S 22, right? The Galaxy S 22. It's on Amazon Renew for $499. $499 for Amazon Renew Galaxy S22. That device is better in every way, shape, and form than the A series. You're gonna get better cameras. You're gonna get, you know, uh, you're gonna get better internals. Uh, you're gonna get better everything. Everything about it is better. So would you spend Four, uh, 450 after tax, $500 for a A series with a mid range processor, six gigs of RAM and this, that, and other, where you could get a Galaxy S 22, 256 gigs, the, the eight gen one processor, eight gigs of RAM, 
all the bells and whistles, the better camera, the better processor, everything on for four ninety nine. And even if you go even further and say, okay, you could go to the S twenty one plus on Amazon Renew for two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Now that is a phenomenal buy. That means that why would I buy a five hundred dollar, uh, four hundred and fifty dollar uh, mid range device, A series device? when I can get a pure flagship for $300. So that brings in the uh, thing is, well, easy. Well, why would I buy S21? That's, ain't that almost two years old? But it don't matter. It's still a better processor. It still have, you know, uh, it, it, plus it's still going to get the support, right? So you're still going to get, you know, uh, all your support and everything, you know, so you're going to get, everything else in between. So you're still going to get Android 13, Android 14, Android 15 with the S21 or the S22. So it brings the, uh, the, the, oh man, it, it does bring the, uh, the mid range in a different light, right? It brings the mid ranges in a different light, right? So why buy mid range device when you have last year flagships at current prices? Now, a lot of people may ask the question, well, it's not brand new. And listen, man, Amazon Renew, in my opinion, I've bought many devices on Amazon Renew. I know people have some horror stories about Amazon Renew and stuff like that. But Amazon has been a trusted brand out there. And listen, since it's a trusted brand, you can always return it. Listen, you got a 90 day return. And so I look at it like this. If anything will happen to your devices, go happen between the day you buy and the 90 days. Right. So you can always return it. And, and, and so, listen, I have not had. Not one issue with an Amazon renewed device, right? It has been true tested and it is, it is exactly what's advertised. Now, when you look at an Amazon renewed device, it has all the description in there. It tells you exactly what the device is in any cosmetic damage or whatever. It tells you that. So you know what you buying. Listen, man, I think that I think what's happening in, in, in the, um, the mid-range market is, is, is something that you definitely have to think about, right? Look, I've reviewed mid-range phones. I call it how I see it, right? But at the end of the day, when you look at a mid-range device creeping up into the $500 price point and you have a, a, a Pixel 6a at $299, I, I, why would you even consider a A-series when you got a better phone at the Pixel 6a at $299? And that's the thing, like you have a better phone versus the Galaxy phone. Listen, think about this. The A-Series don't have decks. It don't have, you know, a lot of other features and stuff like that. So if you want Samsung decks, you could get the A, the S22 for four ninety nine. dollars You get Samsung decks and all that stuff like that. Or you could get the S21 Plus for $299, right? And that you could get the S2021 Ultra let me give you the price for that. And this is so weird. So the, let me give you a price on the S21 Ultra uh, in real time, right? S21 Ultra. And uh, unlock this. Look at that price for a second. The S21 Ultra is four. What? Wait, what? I'm seeing the S21 Ultra for $435. S21 Ultra on Amazon Renew is 400 Unlocked everything. $435. You know what? That is, that is cheaper than the A53, A54. That is cheaper. Now, a lot of y'all went, what? That's the S21. Listen, the S21 is, S21 Ultra is way, I mean, absolutely better than the A-Series. It is more premium than the A-Series. It has the S-Pen, S-Pen software. You're going to get support up to Android 16 or 17. Listen, that is insane, right? If you if you consider looking at a A series device with a watered down processor with six gigs of RAM, one hundred twenty eight gigs of storage, right? I think it's one twenty eight, maybe. Let's see, one twenty eight gigs of storage. Let me look at it right here. I got the I got oh uh, I got Samsung stuff pulled up right here, uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's hmm. A54, yeah, so I mean, you look, I look at this like this, right? That if, let me go to compare specs. Uh, if you look at how 
Samsung is not even Samsung. It could be any company with these mid range devices. You do run into problems. All right. So the A54 is 6.4 inch, 50 megapixel camera, six gigs of Ram, 5,000 milliamp battery. Uh, and it, it doesn't, it doesn't tell you the, the storage option, but I believe it's 128. The A, the A23 compared to the A23 to, to the A14. So the A14 is a 6.5 inch, right? Uh, and it has four gigs of Ram, 5,000 milliamp battery. I mean, you know, I mean, God, look at that price, right? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. So it's 128. All right. 128 for 449 for the A54. And you know, you ask the question, man, when you look at that, a Galaxy S21 Ultra is a better phone. I mean, you could you could call it how you see it. You could say whatever you want to say. You could say, well, that's a that's a two-year phone compared to a current device. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to processor speed, display, when it comes down to uh, support, when it comes down to uh, feature set, right? You got the S Pen, Dex, uh, better cameras. Overall, it's a better phone versus the A54. And so why would you buy an A54 for, for $449 where you could get a, a premium, ultra premium flagship for $435? Now, I know what a lot of people might say. Well, easy. It's not brand new. It's not brand new. Listen, man. Again, I talked about this, about the Amazon Renew program. I've bought Amazon Renew devices for my experience. And I know people have different experiences about it. I love Amazon has been a, a true tested uh, company has been great. I don't have no issues with it. I can return my device with no problem. So I think, yeah, I mean, listen, who do you trust? Do you trust Samsung? You know, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, shoot. But I think, I don't, I don't know if that's Samsung fault though. You have a lot of companies come out with mid range. If I'm picking on Samsung because there's a notable, it's a notable company. That's why, but you have a lot of companies that come out with mid range devices. Uh, and you know, those mid range devices, they, they, I, I, it, it's hard to recommend, even though we review them, even though we talk about the nice feature set, even though we talk about the premium aspects of it, we, it didn't want to come down to prices. That's when you'd be like, uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, listen, if if you wait, if you really want the A series device, I would just wait and just wait till the price drop. You know, what I mean, I, that's that thing. I mean, I would pay four forty nine for. I mean, I would pay five hundred bucks for A series device. Wait about two months and let the price drop to about two hundred and some change or three hundred and some change, and then buy it. You know, I wouldn't buy it at you know four forty nine. That's that's ridiculous, man. I would buy. You know, listen. When we review devices, we review devices for what they are, right? And our opinions is our opinions. And we talk about the feature set. We talk about the good, the bad, the ugly with devices, right? Even with me, I talk about it, right? And listen, I talk about a lot of different things. I mean, I make videos about $200 phones, $300 phones, $1,000 phones, $2,000 phones. But at the end of the day, if you watch my channel, it's been a consistent thing. If you watch my live streams, you watch these podcasts or listen to these podcasts, it's been consistent with me. I've always been an advocate of better bang for your buck. Listen, man, I've always been an advocate of better bang for your buck. So is the A series better than the S21 Ultra? No. Is the A series better than the S22 Ultra or uh, S22 Plus at the same price? No. So you definitely have to consider that. You definitely have to think about that. And that's something that, I mean, you know, we have to think about, man. I mean, mid ranges are in a tough spot because you have, you know, the Pixel 6. The thing, I think I saw the Pixel 6 Pro. The Pixel 6 Pro for like 300 and some change, man. I think, uh, and that is crazy, 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 crazy. And uh, look, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up in uh, real time and I'm going to see. And I think... If I'm not mistaken, I think the Pixel 6 Pro, uh, which is a very, very good device, is very, very cheap right now. Uh, Pixel 6 Pro is $499. All right, listen, man. F the Pixel 6 Pro is a better phone. And I'm looking at it at $499. It's a better phone. And I'm seeing it for $338. Uh, so I'm seeing different prices on the Pixel 6 uh, Pro. 
for three hundred and thirty eight dollars. It's no way that I will buy a, a, a Galaxy A series when I got a Pixel 6 Pro, which is a better phone overall for 300 bucks, right? The $338 for the Pixel 6 Pro versus the Galaxy A series of devices. The Pixel 6 Pro is a better phone. Um, so, I mean, listen, I would think uh, in the, on, my, on my website, uh, I do have, uh, you know, an Amazon store that I do have some, most of these devices on my Amazon store at these prices. So if you want to check it out, go on my website and, and, and I do have an Amazon store that has these devices for the cheap, for the low. I, I, listen, the only reason why I want to dedicate this podcast to, uh, you know, mid range devices is because they are in a rough spot. You know, we know the low budget devices for 100, 150, you know, hundred dollars. That that's something that we need those. Because a lot of people that might have broke their flagship or they have their flagship in, you know, uh, in repair, they want to grab a quick phone. Okay, cool. That's no problem. Grab a quick phone, 150, 100, 200 bucks. You can slam your good uh, budget device and you can rock it till the wheels fall off. But when you get it to the mid range devices in the 450 to $500 price points, then you get into flag, Lasher's flagship territory. And listen, how could a phone be the phone of the year and all of a sudden it's not that good? So you have to decipher the difference between should I buy this phone for $500 or I could get last year flagship for almost the same price. And so that is something that you have to consider. You have to consider these things uh, when when you buy the phone, right? And listen, I on this YouTube channel, we talk about all kinds of things, right? Smartphones, we talk about all kinds of things. Look, I... Uh, I, I'm a LG fan, and I mean, look, I, I would tell you that the LG V60, right? Even though it's uh, it's definitely an older device, but for 200 bucks, I you know, I mean, I would consider that also be, before getting a A series device. With the LG V60 is a overall better phone. You have pin support, you got dual screen support, you got desktop mode, you got better cameras in manual mode. By the way, right? Listen, when I talk about cameras, I always talk about cameras in manual mode. I don't mess with auto mode. As y'all guys see, I've been stressing that I, you know, I listen, and look, let me explain myself about this, this camera situation. Cameras are, all cameras are, are, are good. It, it, uh, one of the reasons why people get bad shots, it's the user. Sometimes it's not the, it's not the device itself. It's always the user that can't frame don't know how to take a photo and stuff like that. So, you know, it's always, some people always like to blame the device on why you get bad photos and videos. I, I, I would say the reason, 99% of the reason why most people get bad photos and bad videos is because of the user. It's because of them. It's not because of the device. Phone camera's been good for a very long time. So if you take it bad photos, it's not because of the phone, it's because of the user, right? You got to know how to use your phone. You got to know how to use manual mode. You got to know how to dial in your settings, right? You know, a lot of people say, well, I just like to point you. I, I just don't want to waste a moment. Listen, man, it, it, life is too short. I ain't no moment for me. If you can't, if I can't get a good photo, then I don't need to take the photo. If I can't get somebody to stand still for a hot second before I take the photo, then I don't need to take the photo. If I can't get my child to chill until I take a photo, which I don't I mean, my daughter's old, but if I couldn't get my child to chill for a hot second to take a photo, then I ain't taking a photo. I mean, I just look at it like that, right? I mean, a lot of people make excuses on why cameras are good or bad. I just look at it that cameras are good. It's a user. I always been stressing that for a very long time. I could get a, I could get a good photo out of my, uh, what is this? Unihertz phone, right? Out of my tank. I could get a good photo out of my tank. And I mean, listen, I've, I've showed y'all guys on videos, photos coming from mid range devices and they pretty decent. Right. Uh, and so, I mean, look, don't get me wrong. When it comes down to cameras, you do have differences in optics and differences in software, right? But to get a decent photo to upload to, to, to social media, I mean, after they compress it and knock it down to a low end compression, I mean, you got to think about it like that. that. That photo that you took and uploaded to uh, social media ain't going to look the same 
uh, due to compression issues and stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is, right? I would say, you know, utilize the device which, which you are. And the reason why I'm picking on the A54 in this podcast is because it's a new kid of the block. And it's something that it got me thinking about mid-range phones. It got me thinking about, you know, I'm reviewing mid-range phones and stuff like that. And But my overall opinion about mid-range phones, I would always encourage, look at the previous year flagship device before considering a mid-range device. And listen, I know a lot of people are, oh my God, God. I mean, why would you say that? Because I mean, mid-range is the new hotness. It's the up, this day, the it's the new thing. It's something fresh. Listen, man, even though things are new, even if it's up to date, it don't mean it's good. Think about it, right? Is it good for the consumer to pay five hundred dollars for for a mid-range device, right? Where you have your last year flagships that was most people's phone of the year think about this last year flagships was most people's phone of the year and you could get it at the same price or maybe just a little tweak maybe 50 dollars more here or there compared to a mid-range device and you would buy a mid-range device before you buy a a phone of the year that see that's the thing would you buy a phone of the year or a mid-range device almost at the same price and that's the problem. The problem is, is that when you buy a mid-range device, you get every you you don't get the full feature set. You don't get the 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 high-end processors. You don't get all the software. It, with, with Samsung, you don't get you know no desktop support. You don't get none of that stuff. So when you look at it in that aspect, why even buy a mid-range? I don't know. I don't know. It's just my thoughts. We're going to keep this podcast short, man. I mean, I just, I just, I just feel that, you know, I just, I don't know, man. It, it, it just, it's just a thought, right? My thought process. All right. Let's get out of here, man. Oh, yes. What's up, y'all? Oh, yeah. See, I got a new toy here, right? I got the uh, Rodecaster Pro 2. And you know what? I, I'm having fun with it. I'm still learning it. Plus, I got a new mic, man. How y'all like it, man? It, it sounds good, man. That's what I'm talking about. You know how I do it, baby. You know how I do it. That's what I'm talking about. This is how we do it right here. And uh, at the end of the day, man, I mean, look, I'm stepping up my audio game. I'm doing what I got to do, baby. I'm doing what I got to do. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That's what I'm talking about. If you love what you love and you love what you do, you always do what you do. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lady, y'all. Oh! <laughs> Check out my YouTube channel, y'all. Check out, uh, you know, Spotify. If you're a, a member, make sure y'all guys go check out the audio version of these podcasts, man. And, uh, you know, sometimes podcasts long, sometimes podcasts short, man. And, uh, you know, I just love having fun. Let me tell you something, man. I'm having a time of my life. Y'all don't understand. I mean, I got me some new audio gear, man. I got the Rodecaster Pro 2, baby. I'm having some fun. I got some new microphones, man. I got some audio gear coming in, man. Listen, man, I'm loving this stuff, man. I got a new mic arm here, man. Oh, man. I'm going to tell you, if you're not loving life, then what you living for? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let me tell you something. You got to go back and reevaluate your life if you're not living life right. If you're not having fun in life, that means you ain't doing something right. You know what I'm saying? Listen, these podcasts is all about tech and phones and all that stuff like that. But at the end of the day, live life, baby. Oh! And you know, you talk about, should I buy this and should I buy that? Let me tell you something, man. If you got the means and the money to do it, baby, do it. Listen, man, don't let nobody persuade you into buying something, right? If you want the A54, buy the A54. If you want a, a, a Google Pixel, buy a Google Pixel. Hey, don't let nobody influence you to tell you what you can and cannot buy. You think about this, right? Don't let nobody tell you what you can buy, not buy, man. That, that don't make no sense, man. <laughs> <laughs> that don't make no sense, man. So, you know, don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot buy. If you want an LG V60, don't 
don't let nobody tell you, oh, man, you, that's old, man. LG is dead and all that. Man, let me tell you, you know what you do? You say, you know what? They may be dead, but they got one of the best phones on the planet, baby. You know what? How you like me? Nah. That's all you got to do is tell them that. You know, they come and tell you, well, my phone is better. Yeah, but guess what? This phone that I got in my pocket is a $1,200 cheaper than your phone. How about that? How about you buy that $1,200, $1,300 phone, right? $1,400 phone. And I could buy this LG V60 for about a buck fifty, right? And, I, you know, I got money in my bank account while you sitting around there trying to convince people that the phone that you got is better than every phone out there. When I'm sitting around with a phone that got good battery life, headphone jack, all the bells and whistles and everything else in between baby and you know what just having fun with it and that's the whole thing like you know a lot of people always think about i got to have the 16 gigs of ram i got to have the latest and greatest processor and you know what to get the same games that you play on your 1500 phone i could play it on a 200 phone and it plays just great right well i got 120 hertz display you know what when the game that's only set at 60 hertz right that game set at 60 hertz so if you play that game on that 1500 phone and i play this game on a 200 phone that game is locked down to 60 hertz we having the same gaming experience baby the same gaming experience you not having no better experience than me you got the same gaming experience that game ain't set at 120 hertz so guess what when you playing that game that game is set at 60 hertz. So that means that the, the 60 hertz display that I got in my hand, I'm having the same gaming experience as you. <laughs> so you can say what you want. I've got 120 hertz in the, and not all apps support it, right? And listen, I got all the Galaxy phones. I understand that. But when it comes down to, I don't want people to be swayed about people influence you that a company is dead or this is bad and don't don't use that phone don't use that product because it's old and all that stuff you know what wine age fine you know good wine age fine and you know what it's all good sometimes age sometimes age is better because you smarter you know more right think about this i no more now at my age than I was when I was younger. So just because you knew is it, it don't mean that it's better. You know, think about this, right? Older is always think about this. If we talk about smartphones, I'm gonna get out of here. Smartphones for a second. Sometimes when smartphones come out, they are terrible. They they need ish, they have issues, they have uh, all kinds of bugs and stuff like that. They need software updates. But the older devices have went through all these updates to refine them, to make them better, to make the cameras better, to up the ante on all kinds of different things. Those devices is prime because it's been update after update, bug fix after bug fix. The newer devices come out buggy in these software updates. You have a horrible experience sometimes when you buy new phones. But the older phones, just, it's like fine wine, baby. It's still working great. It's working great. So that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Thank y'all guys. <laughs> yes, another podcast in the book. I want to give a huge thanks to everybody that watch this podcast. I want to give a huge thanks to people that watch, listen on Spotify, baby. Think about this. I got people that listen to me on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts and all that. Man, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all been showing me some love. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to show you some love back. Thank y'all guys very much. Appreciate it. All right, Mario.